All right, so it's been about an hour. So let's open this up. I'm gonna take, this is a bucket of very warm soapy water, which is the best way to mitigate the solvent here. Oh, that is very hot water. Oh, this looks so much better already. Nice dry cloth ready. Set it on the cloth, let it dry. Now we got the big bucket O grossness. So we let that drain out. Take our float bowl. Our rust is coming right off. Dump out our little cap here. Cap can go right in. Let those sit for a couple more minutes. I'm cleaning out this stuff. So we can get the most of the surface rust off. This is a little difficult. This part's not, you know, this part doesn't see any gasoline, so I can hit this with a fine metal brush, wire brush. The bowl we need almost spotless, so we need to that gunk out of the gasket spacing and then really get in there. I'm just gonna do it with my fingers. Ah, it's getting there. It's still pretty nasty. So let's do this. Let's take this stuff out. Let that drain down. Catch some of that oil in there. So in here we've got the main jet, fuel shut off, air fuel mix, the slow jet, this is the slow jet, the slow jet, the main jet housing, and the throttle needle. And we're going to put that bowl back in there. All right, so we can get rid of the water now. Just dry the needle off. Give it a good once over. Make sure it's 100% clean. And you see how now it's way more silver than it used to be? It used to be pretty much gold. That's from all the uh, staining from the old gasoline. Alright, that's looks like brand new. Set that there. Take apart our little air fuel screw here. Give that a good cleaning. Be very careful with these because they're the tips are very, very thin. You don't want to bend or break the tip. Put that back in there. Followed by the O-ring, or the uh, the washer. And then finally, the O-ring. All right, now that's good to go. Next is the fuel shut off. Inspect the rubber on the end here, because this is what actually creates your seal and prevents fuel from overfilling your bowl. And this one looks practically brand new. It actually looks in really good shape for the, the shape it came out. I'm surprised it looks that good. Um, double check to make sure it's not a spring-loaded pin on the back here. I'm, I'm going to try to clean up the side a little bit. Right here. 
and right here. Only because I don't want any corrosion to hang up while this is uh, sitting inside the fuel barrel. You want this to float freely on the float to shut off your fuel. So that's all set. Uh, what else we got here? We have our slow speed jet. And this is the one we could not blow through earlier. Actually, we couldn't see through it. So, let's see if this punch is small enough. It is not. So that punch won't do. So let's see if we can put a few of these wires down here. I'm sorry, re aim my camera a little bit. So I'll take a few of these wires, bundle them up and stick them in there. Spin it around a few times. And then through these little side holes, make sure you can see through them. Make sure the wire passes through those side holes. That's good. cleaned right out. Should send the group down here and just spin it around, act like a little wire brush in there. Well, I could see through it a second ago, now I can't again. There we go. Remember we couldn't see through this one before? Let's see if we can uh, aim it at the camera here. See? See right through it now. You can see yellow on the back side there. So that's good. So that one's clean. Next we'll do the main jet. clean, see right through it. And then the main jet housing. Clean that up nice. All this brass got stained kind of a red color from all the bad gas. So, looks like a cross between the bad gas and rust getting into the carburetor. And this you can barely see through. Let's see here. Send a wire up in the middle there. Spin that around. Send it down the other way. Spin that around. Oh wow, that's really cleaning out. Let's see. Actually, we might wanna send all this in there. That's way better. See right through that. It's perfect. And get all these little side ports. And we can see through all the side ports. And just give it a quick blow through and that one's all done. Last is this guy. This is the bowl shut off or the bowl drain. So this is not super imperative to having the carb operate but it's nice when you can drain the carburetor 
completely you know if you're gonna put the thing in storage or you're gonna work on it and you don't want to get gas all over yourself you can drain out the bowl uh, to prevent spillage and getting gas where you don't want it and there's that so that's pretty much that's pretty much it other than the bowl itself so while the bowl is still soaking let's tackle cleaning out the carburetor here so what we want to do is we want to make sure we get every single port clean and blow through every single orifice we can now if I blow through this this is the fuel inlet I should get air out of this so let's try that I don't know if you saw it misting there. Let me wipe the camera off. I think I got mist on the camera. But see, see the liquid coming out? This is all that all that wetness. That's my breath and the uh, the cleaning solution. So what we have to do is just make sure stick that wire in there and run it around. Make sure there's no rust in there. Make sure the passage is a through way. Let's put this back up like that. Twist that in there. As far as that goes, and then we'll do the same thing with a couple wires down into the fuel inlet, just to make sure that's cleaned out that way. Blow through it again. Very clean no resistance that's what you want where did I put my flashlight there it is so we can look in there looks pretty clean we can look in here looks pretty clean very clean actually alright so that's good and we'll hit the main jet where the needle goes through. You can send all these wires through. They should poke out through that center hole. Let's just get them a little skinnier. We can make sure they fit. Come on. There we go. See the wires poking through there? Clean that right out. Blow through it. There's this hole right here where there's still like mud coming out of it. Ugh, 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 ugh. What is that? Oh, it's like it's like it's connected. I'm gonna have to use that dental pick. It's like actual like paper got sucked into it or something. But it looks fairly clean on this end. And now it looks fairly clean on this end. What I really need to do is send a q-tip down there just run it around in here oh my oh my look at that <gasps> wow that's awesome jeez we do the same thing going this way That's looking good. That's looking good. That's much better. That didn't take long. Jeez. I tell you, cleaning the body of the carburetor is by far the most tedious. Since it's where every little nook and cranny needs to be spotless. Perfect. Super clean. Uh, let's check these ports here. So we have one port here. 
clean, one port here, clean. Put a little alcohol down those just to see where those go. Um, what else didn't we do? We didn't do this one. That's not a good sign. That's this port right here. Blowing through that one. It comes right through there. That's nice and clean. I think we're in good shape here. So every port is now clean. Every hole is clean. Every inlet and outlet, you can tell where it goes. There's no crud anywhere, and it's completely dry. We have a 100% clean carburetor.